show you guys really quick how I make my templates. I make my templates on Canva. These are three templates that I created for a wedding that we are going to have. The bride chose the second template. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to make this template. It's super easy and it's really fast. So first thing I do is I go to Canva. And then I go to create a design and I do custom size. We're going to do the, this in inches. So we're going to do a 2 for the width and 6 for the height. And we're just going to click create a new design. And then now you see you have your 2 by 6 dimension. You're going to go to elements and then you're just going to search in whatever you want. So she just told me her colors were navy blue and burgundy. So then I went to Google and I searched navy blue and burgundy invites so that I could get a better idea of what to create. And then I went over to Canva and I searched for navy blue and when I did that, I got all these pictures. So I'm going to go with the navy blue background. And then that's what I did for this template that I'm going to show you guys how I created it. Um, here I'm going to use this as my background and I'm just going to zoom all the way out. And then we don't want this to move so we're going to lock it in place. Now I'm going to add the flowers. So all I did was I searched burgundy flowers. And for this one, I got all of these really beautiful flowers. Um, you can scroll down and you see how there's like so much to choose from. But I also, aside from the burgundy flowers, I wanted a gold trim. So I searched burgundy flowers and gold trim. And then you get these. And these flowers I feel like are more like wedding vibe. So I'm going to pick this one. This is the one that I went with. I moved it all the way to the bottom and then I just zoomed all the way out and now we have that. Then down here we're going to add the text. Um, so we're going to go to text over here and this is the text that I used. So another thing this bride also mentioned to me was that she wanted something um, simple. So nothing crazy so I had to keep that in mind the whole time I was creating this. like to do something super simple so for the names we're gonna do her name and his uh, his name oh sorry okay and then we're just gonna zoom out make this bigger and then this font is actually too big so I'm just gonna make it to 14 now that looks better and then I just moved it down here. She said she only wanted her their names and the date. So I'm going to add the date right here. And then I don't like this font so I'm going to change it to this one. And then usually when I do dates I like to make it to an 8. And then we're going to move this down here. So this is basically all I did, you see here, and then you can actually go in and you can select all of this and you can go here, you can do position and you can center it. So now it's going to be at the center of your page. And then the last thing I like to do before I send them to my clients so that they can choose is I go to uploads and I like to add the backdrop that they selected um, just because I want her to get a better idea of the backdrop that is going to be on her template so like that she gets the whole perspective of what it is she is basically paying for so then I'm gonna just do that I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so just want to make it that size so I'm gonna scroll this to the top there you go and then for the for these I just like to press duplicate and then bring it down and then we want to duplicate it one more time 
every time I do an event for my Chloe booth, I like to do uh, three pictures all the time because those pic the pictures on the Chloe booth um, will come out only upper body. So I always make sure to have three photos. And yeah, so now everything is aligned. Everything is good. And that's how I make my templates. It's super easy and super fast. Then I basically download it and then I send it to her. So these were the three that I had made. I downloaded all three of them on my phone through the Canva app. And then I just text them to her. She texted me back the one she liked. And then when I go into here again so that I can download it to upload it to dark room I go here and I delete this then I select everything and I group it together then I go to file and then I go to download right here and then I go I download it as a PNG I will pick the current page that I'm on so I only want page 2 and then I'm going to download this page and now I will upload this PNG graphic into the darkroom and replace the graphic that I already have on there using another template that has three photos. And that's basically all I do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I make a template for my events. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can ask me in the comment below and I'll make sure to answer and thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one